and currency. These are the things that are referenced on the North Coast Local Directory. Uh, these are the four vocabulary words that I spoke about that we think are public good. We can maybe do some fun things that um, haven't actually seen the skill uh, demonstrated, although I know there's a library that we can point to some definitions of for demonstrating skill. And um, there are also some people that request it so we're going to start with uh, how that all four of these are um, similar in the sense that they're four by intersection of the approval center, which is the intersection point of the three currently approved by assessors. The green center is the intersection point of the three approval by assessors. The center is the intersection point of the three meetings. And the rest of the center is the intersection point of the so we're going to start with the Kirkham Center. And in order to do the Kirkham Center, we need the three approved by of the triangle. So number two, my compass. Keep in mind the compass on the digital platform is always um, perfect. And the pixels don't always match up. So it's not like exactly the way around, but it is good enough to demonstrate the skill. So I'm going to open up my compass for the map line. So we've got point A, point of entry art. I'm going to move my compass to point B. Repeat that process. And go through those intersection points. You use a straight edge tool to do this, but I'm going to use a line because it's quicker, which reduces how much time you need to be watching this. So I'm going to just extend that line a little bit longer. And make it a little bit thinner. Now I'm going to repeat the process by moving the compass to point C. And I can use the same opening if I started on the largest side. Sometimes I can use the same opening. As you can see, if I go back to B, with that same opening, I can get the second intersection point at the bottom. So I'm going to take a second line and go through this intersection point, through that intersection point. Make that line a little thinner. And I can test my accuracy with the third line. In other words, if I label this point X, the third perpendicular bisector should go through the intersection point. And if it doesn't, then I know that I could work to be a little more accurate. So now I'm going to take my compass and put it at A and you can see I already have the arc made from A so I'm going to go to C and I have the arc made from C but it's just not far enough so I'm going to continue that arc to get the two intersection points. So those two intersection points go from 
here, this point right here, all the way to here. I draw a straight line, and they do in fact go through point X. There's a slight error, but it's actually pretty good. That's about what the expectation would be. So here's the intersection point. Here's an interesting fact. You can test your quality of your work. This isn't something we have done yet, but if you want to see how useful that point is, this is also the center point of the circle that circumscribes the entire triangle. So if I move my compass and reach it to point A and have it centered at X, if I did a pretty good job at this, need to rotate it a little bit. I'll reach it to point C instead so I can touch it. I should be able to draw a circle once I adjust my compass to be on point C. That goes around the whole triangle. And you could kind of see I'm having trouble getting that pixel perfect, but. So the triangle, maybe it's hard for you to see, was right here. And there's a slight error there, but that red circle um, is circumscribed about the triangle. And right here, there's a tiny little bit of error, and um, we want to minimize that error. So ideally, the red circle will be touching perfectly that little triangle. So point X, if I zoom out, is the circumcenter. I'm going to go ahead and delete the circle because that's really not what you're working on right now. And I am going to now go ahead and save that and I'll make a second recording of the next point of concurrency.